a project that could redefine India's defence posture. It's called Sudarshan Chakra, a missile defence shield designed to secure India's skies against the threat of 21st century. In this segment of ours, let's find out the answers to some very basic but important questions. What is Sudarshan Chakra itself? Why does India need it? And what are the current Indian capabilities? And what makes Sudarshan Chakra so different? Sudarshan Chakra is envisioned as India's integrated air and missile defense system. It will be a multi-layered shield capable of intercepting enemy aircraft, drones, cruise missiles and even the hypersonic glide vehicles. The structure will have three layers. Outer layer will consist of early warning satellites and long-range radars forming the eyes and the ears. The defensive shield will be the mid-layer with ballistic missile, hypersonic missile and cruise missile interceptors. Inner layer will have medium and short-range air defense missiles and close-range lasers and anti-drone guns. So what is Sudarshan Chakra? Let me try and explain to you with the help of graphic wall right behind me. It is India's integrated futuristic missile defense shield. As I said, it is integrated. It will have integration of air and land-based interceptors and missile defense shield. It will be divided into three layers. The outer layer will have satellites and long-range radars to give early warning. Then there will be a mid layer, which will have ballistic missile interceptors, basically to intercept incoming missiles in the outer space itself before they enter the uh, atmosphere. And then once they enter the atmosphere, there will be an inner layer for both mid-level and close-level contact and elimination of the threat. They will be based on laser and uh, drone guns and also mid-level missiles. Now, whole of the system will be AI enabled, that is artificial intelligence enabled, and this will make this whole system very, very effective uh, in the days ahead. So why does India need this push at the first place? The answer lies in today's modern conflicts, which have proven that aerial threats are the biggest danger. In Ukraine, drones and missile strikes have crippled entire cities. In Israel, the Iron Dome has saved lives from relentless rocket barrages. And in the Red Sea, Houthi drones have disrupted critical naval operations. At a time when both China and Pakistan are rapidly expanding their missiles and air capabilities, the S-400 provides India with the ability to detect, track and neutralize hostile aircraft cruise missiles and even ballistic threats at ranges up to 300 kilometers. More importantly, it sends a strong geopolitical signal that India will take independent decisions in its national security interests, regardless of external pressure or sanction threats. In many ways, the S-400 is not just a weapon system, but a deterrent in itself. The current Indian capabilities comes from what India operates. And they are the Russian S-400 systems for long-range interception, the indigenous Akash surface-to-air missiles for medium-range air defense, and DRDO's ballistic missile defense program, which is still under development. And now, the announced Sudarshan Chakra will integrate all these into a single network grid, a homegrown mix of Iron Dome, Thart and the S 400s. What makes Sudarshan Chakra unique? It will be AI enabled for early detection and timely interception. The early warning will be satellite based. It will have laser and directed energy weapons for close air defense. The indigenous radars will be resistant to jamming and most importantly, seamless integration across Army, Navy and the Air Force will be key to its strategic application. 
Sudarshan so Chakra will have a very defined role in protecting India's most critical assets, namely the metro cities like Delhi, Bombay, Chennai and Kolkata and the strategic command centers wherever in the country, nuclear missile bases, key airfields, naval ports, energy infrastructure and subsequently in later phases mobile units may also be deployed along front lines providing protection to army strike formations in the battle. So how will this whole system work? Let me take you to the graphic wall right behind me. A future missile defense system shielding major cities from aerial threats as I mentioned. So it will have detectors in terms of satellites and long range radars. Once the threat is detected, the input is sent uh, to various interceptors. Interceptors receive the signals from the detectors about the aerial attack and once they receive the signal, the missile defense shield is activated as shown by this uh, dome. It's a notional uh, depiction. And once it is activated, then uh, defense missiles or the laser beams are launched depending on the type of threat. And all the incoming missiles and the threat is neutralized. So this is how in a very coordinated manner, this whole system will work and protect the strategic places the India has. The idea is to create a seamless skill chain where sensors, shooters and decision makers are networked in one responsive grid. Once realized, the Sudarshan Chakra will give India the ability to strike first, strike deep and strike accurately all while maintaining complete situational awareness. Ultimately, it's a move towards building a fully indigenous strategic deterrent that can overmatch any adversary across the entire spectrum of conflict. Globally, such systems exist. Israel's Iron Dome, America's Thad, and Russia's S-500. But Sudarshan Chakra is designed as a fusion of these technologies tailored to India's unique geography and multi-front threat environment. In strategic terms, this could be India's Iron Dome, but on a much larger scale. If we talk of the challenges ahead, then developing such a system will be a huge technological and a financial challenge. Indigenous laser and interceptor technologies need to be matured. Cost could run into billions of dollars and deployment will take several years, if not decades. But if achieved, Sudarshan Chakra will give India the strategic confidence of an impenetrable sky. From myth to modern reality, Sudarshan Chakra represents India's determination to build a shield of its own. It's ambitious, it's challenging, but in the age of drone swarms and hypersonic missiles, it may well be the weapon that secures India's future.